Happy birthday, darling. Surprise? Surprise is not the word. <laughs> I'll get you for this. Oh, no wonder everybody went home early. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rosalie. Happy birthday. Hello. Happy birthday, Christy. Shauna. <laughs> Well, go on, Mark. Take her coat. Take her coat. I'll stay a while. I guess I'll have fun. <laughs> you look like you could use a drink. Yeah, I think he is a good one. Yeah. How do you hang on to him? Him? He's got this thing for older women. <laughs> Make a wish, darling. Christy. Yeah. Maybe you should use this. <laughs> <laughs> There you are. I wondered where you vanished to. How's the party? I uh, guess that wasn't the very best idea I've ever had. Huh? No, it was sweet. You're sweet. Just hate birthdays. <laughs> birthdays are fun. Fun? Yeah, they're fun when you're 10 and you're hoping for a new bicycle, they're fun. But when you're 40 and you're worried about your ratings, they're a cruel joke. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. you still got at least five good years on your warranty, and then after that, I can trade you in on a couple of 20-year-olds and a nymphette to be named later. Should I kill you now or torture you first? Come on, it's not that serious, is it? Easy for you to say, Mark. You're getting character lines, and I'm getting crow's feet. That doesn't go over big in television, especially if you're a woman. You are the best anchor in town and the most beautiful woman I know. Just saying that to make me feel good. <laughs> say some more, dummy. <laughs> well, one picture is worth a thousand words. Yep. Oh, I remember. <laughs> this is that little hotel in Santa Barbara. Yeah, it is. And I have got us booked in there for three days next week. Martha. But there's more. What? I have got front row seats to the annual Shakespeare Festival. Oh, Mark, don't tempt me. Why not? It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. <sighs> Come on, you've got some vacation days stored up. They can find us a fill-in for you. But that's oh. just what I'm afraid of. I mean, you know... Villains become replacements. Hmm. We'll take the uh, anchor chair with us. <laughs> Would be nice to get away. Yeah. Just the two of us. I love you. Are you okay? <laughs> Don't be smug, Shauna. You'll hit 40 someday, too. You won't like it any better than I do. I hit 40. Years ago. Oh, Shauna, I'm not in the mood. You don't believe me, do you? No. Here. 1939. That's incredible. What did you do? Have a facelift? <laughs> Now, what? How? No way. It's half an hour before airtime. I get tipsy on half a glass of wine. No, no, no. It's not what you think it is. Here. It's water. What is this, one of those eight glasses a day diets? Forget it, those things never work. This works. And besides, if it's just water, 
What have you got to lose? No, thanks. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Okay, Christy. Final copy, kiddo. We're gonna lead with the fighting in Nicaragua and then move right into the riots in Cape Town. We'll get some very hot footage off the satellites. So that bumps Shauna's piece on the pandas? Hard news only at the news break. God, she'll be on with you at six. And speaking of Shauna, she's gonna be filling in for you next week. You got any problems with that? Uh, no, I guess not. Have a good one. Good afternoon. This is Christine Copperfield with Newsbreak. Sandinista forces. Hey, Bob. Marty, where can we talk? Oh, step over here. Fire began. In a pitched battle outside of the city, Contras inflicted heavy... I left a copy of the viewer demographics report on your desk. I want you to take a look at it before the meeting tomorrow. Why? Is there a problem? Yeah, there's some concern upstairs about our news division. Oh. Listen, don't be like that, Marty. We're only talking about a few cosmetic changes. Fresh look. Something a little more hip, you know. Maybe a new set. A new set, that's it? No, not quite. We need to talk about Christy, too. Why? The numbers are way down. <sighs> Look, Christy is as solid as they come. Look, we don't make up the numbers. Let's face it, Christy is old news. And old news is boring. An upcoming congressional vote on further sanctions against South Africa is expected to be sped up by the latest actions of the Pretoria regime. Good, good. Shoulder. One more shoulder. Over your chin. Good. Work. That's it. That's it. Good. Come on. That's it. Go. Yes. Good. You have it. All right. Four. Four. Boy. Come on. Come on. Energy. Energy. A little more. Terrific. Come on. Give it to me. Come on. That's it. Go. Good. Job, Shauna. Some job. Terrific. Come on, give it to me. Come on. Looks like Mark works hard, too. Go. Yes. Terrific. Does he enjoy the fringe benefits? Yes. Good. Good. Terrific. Remember when you had a body like that? Hi, girls. I'll tell Mark you're here. No, Ted, don't bother him. We're just going down to Moynihan's to have a drink, and we wanted to know if he wanted to join us. But how much longer is this going to take? Not long. We're almost done. Good, good. Okay, straight ahead now. Chin up. That's good. Great. Terrific. How come you're so anxious to share it? What's in it for you? Nothing. I get a free bottle from the distributor when I send them a new customer. I'm your friend. I just hate to see you like this. Trust me. Uh-huh. Looking good. Aqua Vita water. For the young at heart. Five or six glasses to start. After that, no more than a glass a day. Key goes here, like this. Now, don't lose it. Cooler won't work unless the key's in place. Never had to lock up my water before. <laughs> well, suit yourself. You don't mind the maid getting into it? Fine. Uh, we don't have a maid. My boyfriend always says that if God wanted us to drink water, he wouldn't have invented beer. <laughs> Is this stuff really going to make me young? Nobody can make you young. Aquavita water can make you look young. Hey, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> well, that's a pretty superficial attitude. I'm a superficial kind of guy. <clears throat> How much do I owe you? Oh, there's no charge for the first one, Missy. Missy? Can I ask you a question? How old are you? Don't ask. My God. 
Good morning. Boy, are you looking great. Have you been working out? Uh, when would I have time to do that? <laughs> well, you're doing something. You look fabulous. This new hairdo? Kiss me. <laughs> oh, Mark, I'm sorry. I've been so moody lately. Because that birthday just threw me. Yeah, you've been under a lot of pressure lately. It's going to be great for the two of us to get away for a couple of days. Yeah. It's romantic of you to remember that little hotel. That's where I first knew you were the one. <sighs> Christy! Ready to go? Yeah, I'm coming. Trail for us. Oh, yeah. Bodies will never be found. Okay. Hold it. Oh, honey, haven't you taken enough pictures of me already? I know what you want. You are really looking better than ever. Well, in that case, how can I refuse you? Miss Bicycle, 1986. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Wow, that's what I like. <laughs> oh, great. These are great. Yes. right now. What are you talking about? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I'll take this. You take those. Where are you going? We have to get back to town right away. so damn important that you had to ruin our whole vacation? You'd never understand. Christy! Mark. I'm sorry. Look, I don't... I don't want to talk about it, okay? I wanted to ask you something about the uh, water. You didn't mention the side effect. Oh, don't worry. It's not dangerous. It goes away with the next glass. Besides, it's a small price to pay, isn't it? I mean, you look great. Your ratings are up. And I hear that there's a rumor going around about a feeler from KPSC. Care to confirm? Well, I have to protect my sources, but uh, let's just say I'm grateful. And if I do make the move, I can put in a good word about the anchor chair. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. I'm perfectly happy on features. I'll take my pandas over politicians any day. <laughs> but if you really are grateful, you know I am. I owe you one. I've come up a little short this month. Could I ask you for a small loan? Sure. Sure. What do you need, a couple of hundred? I was thinking more along the lines of a few thousand. <laughs> That's a lot of... Uh... It's not a lot of money between friends who help each other out.
to Aqua Vita for... 5,000. Uh, pardon me? I said 5,000. You've got to be kidding. That stuff doesn't even last. Nothing lasts in this world, Missy. Didn't anyone ever tell you that? $5,000? That is infuriating. I could have you investigated, you know. I mean, what kind of racket is this? Hey, if you don't want it, I'll just take it back. No, damn you. Then that'll be 5000 and I'll take your check today, but next time, it's gonna have to be cash. I was just thirsty, that's all. Go back to bed. If you wanted a glass of water, the bathroom's a lot closer. I didn't want tap water. Since when? You've been drinking tap water for years. You know, ever since uh, you started with this water, you've been acting weird. What's with this stuff? Maybe I ought to try a glass. No, there's not enough. I mean, Mark, you don't even like water. You're the one who always said that if God wanted us to drink water, he wouldn't have invented beer. That's called a joke. I used to be able to recognize them without my pointing them out. What is wrong with you? Nothing that a little privacy wouldn't cure. I just don't like being cross-examined, that's all. Maybe you're right. You want to be alone? Fine, be alone. I'll be staying at the studio if you need anything. Good. Sean, it's Mark. Open up, will you? I can't see you, Mark. Sean, I've got to talk to you about Christy. It's important. Call me on the phone. I can't see you now. Shawnee, you don't understand. It's important. Go away. I said go away. It's Aquavita. I'm sorry. Just a moment. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no water, no. Oh.
And that's it, I guess. You've got to stop. You know that, don't you? You didn't see Shauna. I did. You've got to stop now. I can't. I want to, Mark, but I can't. Look at me. I'm old. No, no, no. You are not old. You only look old. Now, there's a world of difference, Christy. You know that. You're not Shauna. You know, the station will let me go. It's not going to be easy. But we've been through bad times before. I, if there are other jobs. You are a journalist. You're a writer. You're not just a face. You'll get something. What about us? What about us? You don't see me going anywhere, do you? I love you. It's easy to say. Look at me. If we walk down the street, people are going to stare at us if we hold hands. If we go back to our cute little hotel, people are going to think you're some kind of gigolo. How are you going to feel the first time somebody mistakes me for your mother? I feel sorry for you. Sorry? Why? You're stuck with a dirty old man for the next 30 or 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> sure you don't mind? No. Not with this dirty old man. It makes me young. Is indeed a fountain of youth, but not the one Ponce de Leon dreamed of. The true fountain of youth lies in the human heart, and its healing properties are without price, an oasis flowing ever fresh from the headwaters of the Twilight Zone. <laughs>